Welcome back to the A to Z of Human Factors Design Science. We are back with a few more principles from science, which when applied to design problems, results in very interesting outcomes. Watch and find out. And we will be back with more. P for five phenomena. Uh, remember the flip books that you had as a child when you rapidly flipped through pages? It appeared as if the still images were actually moving. This is a kind of perceptual illusion. It's an example of the five phenomena. The illusion of seeing a series of still images as moving. Your brain fills in the missing information that does not exist between the successive images. Another example is films, when they used to be shot on celluloid. At the movie theatre, you were shown a rapid succession of still frames through the projector. But it did not look like the film reel was flipping through a bunch of frames. It looked like one complete moving image which you can enjoy. Situation awareness describes the awareness of a person about their surroundings. How parts of that environment fit together and work what states those parts are in and how those might change over time and over space. Having situation awareness helps a person make a confident and accurate decision. Now, not having that awareness, perhaps because the domain is new and the person is a novice, um, or because of losing it, maybe because of a distraction, can lead to failures. The knowing what's happening around you is one of the core aspects of driving. As learners, we're taught to check our rear view mirrors, especially our side mirrors when we're changing lanes. Is that car going to yield as I pass through the intersection? Will that person in the car open the door in my path? And not having situational awareness in these cases can easily lead to an accident. Why? For your keys, Dodson Law. Have you ever noticed that you perform better when you're just a little bit nervous? For example, you might do better on an exam if you're somewhat anxious about your score. In psychology, this relationship between stress levels and performance is known as the Yorkie's Dodson Law. Let's go back to the example of the exam. An optimal level of stress can help you focus on the test and recall the information that you've studied. Too much anxiety, on the other hand, can affect your concentration and make it more difficult to remember the correct answers. Athletic performance offers yet another great example of the Yerkes Dodson Law. When a player is making an important move, like a goal during a football game, an ideal level of stress can enhance their performance and enable them to make the perfect shot. If a player, however, gets too stressed out, they might miss the shot. 